welcome back to another video and oh my god i had a really good relaxing time for a valentine's day i did a lot of self-caring of love and i just feel great but come to find out that i woke up this morning and my allergies is off the roof hi my name is sunny and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and let's get on with this look so today i am going to be reviewing the of course tarte collab with pretty basic and guys i was a little bit disappointed because when i first bought this yes you heard me when i first bought this it was at ulta beauty in orlando and i got home and come to find out that it was looked like it was touched and kind of like scraped a little bit so i was like okay i'm gonna go to the ulta beauty near me and see if i could get another eyeshadow palette and when i did get another one I looked at it and I was like, okay, it looked like it was touched and the eyeshadow was like a little bit everywhere all around the mirror, the palette. And I was just like, okay, there's got to be something wrong with their production. So I was just like, you know what, let me just get it and let me just play with it because I do love the pretty basic and if you don't know who they are they are Miss Remy Ashton and Alicia Marie youtubers on YouTube so I love them they're, they're really funny girly girls this is what the colors look like which is basically cool tone eyeshadows very pretty very basic eyeshadows you also have Right over here is the bronzer and then the highlighters. And of course, down here, I believe this is the Miss Remy options of her that she picked out. And then the top one is Miss Alicia Marie. And of course, I'm going to go in and try to use as much eyeshadows as I can. But first, what I need to do is I need to prime my face. And I am using the Smashbox Glow of Vitamin. Fenty came out with a new powder foundation and this is what it looks like. I got in the color 345 and it also comes with a little powder pad right here. So let's hopefully see it is my shade. I have not tested this out yet and I am just really excited because I tried the L'Oreal Infallible powder foundation that turned out to be pretty good and it covered up my dark circles without color correcting so let's see oh wow this is definitely my summer shade right here okay so as i see in the pan it looks a little bit light so i was like okay let me just get it and then i could just bronze my face up a little bit but when i put it on oh, oh my god it literally like turned a different color like oh my gosh i didn't realize it was gonna get like super dark on my skin i want to show you guys what the difference is as you guys can see from my face that has the powder foundation and then from what's in the pan, I can see that it does oxidize in color. And they have the olive tone, which of course I am olive tone. This is like the light to medium olive tone powder foundation, 345. And then they also have like the dark, medium to dark olive tone now that one was way 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 too dark as you guys can see that it looks like it oxidized on my face because of this color you can see a major difference between this color and then this color on my face it literally got even darker when i put it on my face so that is something to think about when you're getting the powder foundation now the infallible one, I really love it. It definitely stay true to its color when I immediately put it on my face. But I'm still going to keep this foundation. I love it. But this is my summer shade. And right now, you know, it's still a little bit winter. Of course, you know, it's Florida. Everybody else is getting their lovely winter storms while we're getting 
the 80s and the pollens here in Florida and I'm just, it's just killing me so bad. I'm sneezing, I'm sniffling, and it's definitely not the right time to be sneezing because, you know, the whole COVID thing, you go to Walmart and you sneeze and somebody just looks at you and they just like, oh my gosh, she has COVID and she's sick right now. She needs to stay home. I don't know why she's here. But then, you know, a lot of people don't understand that it is spring, almost springtime allergy season. It's definitely a buildable coverage, but it's definitely medium to full coverage. I can still see a little bit of my freckles in which I don't really like my freckles. I can see my sunspot just a little bit, my dark circles. It's gone away majority of it in which that is what I really, really like. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows and now I'm going to contour my face using the color basic. See how that goes. Okay, so definitely basic is a little bit too light for me, especially with this new Fenty foundation that I just tried, but I'm trying to pack on as much as I can. Definitely don't have to use that much. Okay, so as you guys can see that the foundation is like super dark on me. It literally oxidized on my face like really, really bad. I definitely am not going to wear this foundation anytime soon. I am definitely going to wait till about summertime, which is in about a few months for me till I start getting like a little bit more tan. I'm just going to use a dense, fluffy brush and I'm just going to put Chloe onto my eyes. I'm just going to put that above my crease or into my crease. And then I'm just going to pack that on there. I can see that it is pigmented, but the thing is, is that for some reason, I see where my eyes crease. I could definitely see a line right there. It's a little bit patchy, just a little bit, but it's not too bad. But it's something that you can work with. The colors are definitely buildable. It's just a little bit patchy and I'm just trying to get rid of the patchiness that's on my eyes. But the color combination is like really, really nice. It's definitely an easy everyday wearable look. And then I'm just going to get a, another small little fluffy brush. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to diffuse that color with Perf. And then I'm going to smoke out my waterline with Chloe. Mix Chloe and Ring Ring together to give it that nice, good, smoky eye look. And then now I'm going to use Pretty and I'm going to use that on the inner corners of my eyes. And I see that that shimmery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a setting spray and I'm using the Morphe setting spray. And I am just going to spray that onto my brush let's see how good this shimmers okay so that's definitely a lot better okay now i am going to use the color boy drama and this looks super pretty and a very nice creamy formula so let's see what it looks like without me spraying it on oh my god that is super pretty that's really nice I'm just gonna put that all over my lid and that just looks so nice. I love the color Boy Drama. This is definitely a must-have eyeshadow palette that I definitely would use every single day. So this is definitely going to stay on top of my vanity desk for an eyeshadow to wear every single day because right now I am using the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette that I use every day. And that's literally like a very basic eyeshadow palette. The formula in there is incredible. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize that we have an audience right there. <laughs> hi, baby. Say hi, Evie. Oh my gosh. Hi. You just staring at me? Hmm. Baby, oh, I love you too. I'll give you some treats in a little bit. 
Okay, so final review, everybody. I love this eyeshadow palette. The color combination is fantastic. I definitely love the color right over here, Boy Drama, and that is like a shimmery, purplish champagne brown kind of color it's definitely a cool tone and i don't really like cool tones that much but i definitely made it work on me now as you guys can see that this foundation the fenty beauty foundation it's definitely oxidized on my face as you guys can see you can compare from what's inside the palette to my face this looks a lot more lighter and in my face looks really dark and this definitely matches my chest it's definitely my chest color it's definitely the color that i need to have on my face but all in all is that it's definitely good for the summer if you have oily to combo skin that is me it's okay but i'm definitely not going to wear this until i definitely start getting a little bit more tan on my skin so that's probably going to be in about a couple of months which i'm kind of a little bit disappointed because it is a bit expensive fancy beauty foundation and i believe the last foundation that came out that uh, i think maybe like a couple or a few years ago i'm not really for sure exactly but when it first dropped the liquid foundation it did oxidize on my face and this oxidized on my face again so that's why i don't really like to wear her foundation and i believe in the liquid foundation a lot of people i've heard that it oxidizes on their face too so i'm not the only one that's going through this i have no idea why it oxidizes on my face so i'm going to do some more research on why it does it maybe it's because of the primer that i use or i don't know so i'm just gonna go check that out too but i did set my face with the morphe setting spray and then also the lips i use the stila in a full throttle for my lips but all in all this is a no-go for me and this is a yes for me even though it was a little bit patchy but i still love it so this is my review this is my honest review guys i'm sorry if you guys don't really you know like my opinion about fenty beauty because i know a lot of people love her foundations but for me it does not work for me because it does oxidize on my face and my face does look a little bit more darker than usual i don't really like it that's why i don't like putting blush and i don't like contouring my face as much because of some of the foundations that does oxidizes on my face so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also like and then comment down below if the Fenty Beauty Foundations oxidizes on your face and don't, leave, don't let me be the only one out there that has this problem. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.